now let's see about uh, swing component j tree class uh, j tree class is mainly useful in order to create a tree tree is mainly useful in order to represent hierarchical information hierarchical information means uh, the data will be represented at different levels if you take the example of a family tree so first grandparent next level uh, parents parent level so next one children level again children contain several children levels so this grandparent level is called as level 0 this parent level is nothing but level 1 this children level level 2 likewise uh, again this children may contain some children this is nothing but level 3 so if we want to represent hierarchical information then we have to make use of uh, j tree class uh, next um, in every tree the first node, the topmost node is called as root node. So in this example, grandparent is the root node. So root node is the parent for all the nodes which are in the tree. Next, a root node may contain several children. Again, the children contains several children like that. If a node doesn't contain any children, then the corresponding node is called as leaf node. Let's take an example here. Here, font is nothing but root node. Font node contains uh, two children. The first children of font node is color. The second children of the font is style. Again, this color contains uh, three children. Color has three children. First children red, second children green, third children blue. So likewise, style has two children. The first children Times New Roman. The second children Serif. So in this example, our target is we want to create a tree structure like this. So for that, first we have to use some constructors. Here we have two important constructors. The first constructor is J tree left parenthesis right parenthesis. So it creates an empty tree. So initially the tree doesn't contains any elements. Next one, J tree of array items. This is nothing but a one-dimensional array. So that array may contain some items. So all those items will become the nodes of the tree. The first element of the array will become the root node. And the remaining nodes will be arranged one by one like that. So by using these two constructors, we can create a tree. Or if you want, we can make use of one more constructor that is J tree of root node. J tree of root node. So here we have to pass the root node as the argument so that from the root node to just the last leaf node the entire tree structure will be arranged. Now let's see the methods. Mainly we use just one method that is the add method. It is mainly useful in order to add a node to its parent node. Now let's see an example program in order to demonstrate uh, J3 class. So in this example our target is uh, we would like to create a tree structure like this. So first statement, import space java x dot swing dot star semicolon. Swing package contains several classes like j frame class. Uh, next, j, in this example, we are using the j tree. So j frame, j tree, and we have a class called component class. So these three classes are present in the swing package. Here java x, x stands for extension. Okay. So next pack is import space java x dot swing dot tree dot star semicolon. Here java x is nothing but uh, the parent package. That package contains uh, a sub package called swing. Again swing sub package contains uh, a sub sub package called tree. So why we are using this tree package? Because tree package contains a class called default mutable tree node. So default mutable tree node is a class which is present in this package. It is a class so D, M, T and the N are uppercase letters. Default mutable tree node. This class is useful in order to create a node. In this example we have several nodes 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 nodes. Each node in the tree is created with the help of default mutable tree node class that class is present in uh, java x dot swing dot tree package uh, so let's see the class 
So class name of the class is tree demo. So this is nothing but class declaration. Next, this one is nothing but constructor. We know that constructor name must be same as the class name. Uh, next, J frame F is equal to new J frame. Here I am using capital F for denoting the object of the J frame. Why? Because for the font class we have created an object. That object name is small f. So we have to show some difference now. Okay? Why? Because uh, uh, two variables may not have the same name. So J frame for J frame what is the object name? F. F is equal to new J frame. So capital F is nothing but the object for the J frame class. We know the advantage of the J frame. It is a container which contains some components. Next, default mutable tree node f is equal to new default mutable tree node of font. So, what is the node name now? Font is the node name. So, for this, what is the object name? Small f is the object. So, likewise, uh, we have to create objects for this color as well as styles. First, we are creating nodes for parent nodes. Then we will create uh, the parent node children. So default mutable tree node C is equal to new default mutable tree node of color. So what is the node name? So the node name is color. Whereas what is the object name? C is the object name. So color is the node name. C is the object name. So likewise style is the node name. Yes is the object. Default mutable tree node. Yes is equal to new default mutable tree node of within the double quotation style. So style is the node name and yes is the object. Now we have to add this uh, color node as well as style node to the font node. So for that uh, what is the object for font? The object for the font is F. The object for the color is C. Whereas the object for the style is yes. So F dot add of C will add color node to the font node. Next, f dot add of s will add style node to the font node. So here, what is small f? Small f represents font node. So with this, we can say that this color node is added to the font as well as the style node is added to the font. Now we have to create the children's for color node. What are the children's for the color node? Red, green, blue. So totally, we have to create three nodes now. So let's see those statements. Default mutable tree node C1 is equal to new default mutable tree node of red. So node name is red, whereas the object name is C1. So next statement default mutable tree node C2 is equal to new default mutable tree node of green. So green is the node name. Next, what is the object name? C2 is the object name. So next statement default mutable tree node C3 is equal to new default mutable tree node of blue so blue is the node name b is the object so once the children are created then we have to add the corresponding children to the color so what is the object for the color c whereas what are the objects for red green blue rgb so rgb okay so what are the statements now c dot add of c1 next to c dot add of c2 c dot add of c3 so c dot add of c1 will add red to the color, c dot add of c2 will add green to the color, c dot add of c3 will add blue to the color. So next we have to create the children's for the style. So default mutable tree node s1 is equal to new default mutable tree node of times new roman. So times new roman is the node whereas s1 is the object. Next statement, default mutable tree node, S2 is equal to new default mutable tree node of serif. So, just we have created two objects. First object S1, second object S2. For space constraints, I have written uh, DMTN. So, DMTN stands for default mutable tree node. So, S1 is the object, S2 is the object. So, these two objects should be added to the stand. So, S dot add of C1, S dot add of C2, S2. So, with this, we can say that our tree structure is created. Now we have to create the tree. So for that we have to use a class called J tree. So J tree T is equal to new J tree of here. What is the root node? Root node name is font and the corresponding object is F. So J tree T is equal to new J tree of F. So whenever we created a statement like this, 
then the tree will be created like this from root node to the last leaf so next once the component is created then we have to add the corresponding component to the frame so that should be done with the help of f dot add of t here f means frame object for frame object we are using capital f so f dot add of t will add uh, our uh, tree to the corresponding frame next f dot set size of 400 comma 500 so this 400 specifies width of the frame 500 specifies height of the frame next f dot set visible of true initially the frame will be in invisible mode so if you want to make our frame as visible then we have to use this statement next this right can be pressed this specifies end of the constraint next we know that execution of the program starts from the main method public static void main string aux uh, here in this program uh, there is no need to use uh, f dot set layout method why because here uh, the output will be displayed from starting line onwards okay so that's why we can say that uh, there is no need to use uh, any set bounds as well as uh, any so we know the advantage of the set bounds method f dot set bounds so we have a method called set bounds method so we can add that method with the help of this component object so t dot set bounds of actually we use this method t dot set bounds of some x coordinate next y coordinate next width next to height in this program there is no need of specifying the boundaries for the corresponding component why because three means we have to display from starting line onwards so that's why we we didn't use this method as well as in every program we specified we specifies a method called set layout so f dot set layout of none in this program there is no need to use any layout manager if we want we can make use of that statement also there is no problem okay so public static void main string box next to new tree, tree demo we know that uh, whenever an object is created then automatically the corresponding constructor will get called but here there is no need of reference if we want we can create a statement like uh, tree demo obj is equal to new tree demo but that reference obj is not needed so that's why only object is created so whenever an object is created then automatically this constructor will get called this right curly brace specifies uh, end of the main method this right curly brace specifies end of the class so in this way we can uh, we can use uh, j3 class in swings